Okay, boys, take a seat right now, please. We have a serious problem. Sit down, fuckhead. Boys, I don't know how to tell you this. Your content is... It's... Spit it out. This is so difficult. What's going on? Your content is offending some people. And... There's no end. This is the problem. Well, who cares? Who cares? You didn't just say that. Tell me you did not just say that. I didn't just say that. You... Well, I don't know how to respond to that. Boys, this is as bad as it gets. Oh no. How is this as bad as it gets? Because it is, Jerry. How could it be worse? Could be way worse. Enough is enough. Now, we're going to go around the table one by one and we're going to talk about what offends you. Maybe we can gather some perspective on what you boys are doing so wrong in society. Oh my god. Oh, I've got one. Excellent. Scenario, go ahead. Don't give in. I'm offended by pop music these days. Okay, good, excellent, let's talk. Now, is it the bad language or is it the nudity in the music television videos, etc? No, it's just shit ass. <laughs> no, see, that's something that annoys you, not something that offends you. Ricky, how about you? Now, hold on, can I ask you one? Yes, actually, sometimes that can be a helpful and useful exercise. Go ahead. Right, so what's worse? If I cut your leg off with a rusty half shit itself chainsaw. Right, okay. Or if I say you've got a face like a fucking kicked in back door. How could you even compare those two things? Well, exactly. Obviously, you could never say something so hurtful to me. What about the chainsaw? I feel like you boys just aren't getting how serious this is right now. Some few amount of people's feelings are getting hurt here. Oh no! And don't even get me started on your grandmother, boys. Right, I one phone call coming up. I really don't think that's necessary. Hello, darling. Man, apparently some people are starting to get real offended by the shit we get up to. Ah, screw them, dear. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hang up, please. Your grandpappy fought in the war for your freedom, not for a bunch of bitches to whine and moan all the time. All right, so yeah. Wait, Rickles, Ricky. What? Who's Nanny's special little monkey? <laughs> Me. I'm gonna go, darling. Poppy's got an erection, and I wanna run. Ricky, how about you, mate? What offends you? Nah, hang on, I've got one. Hypothetically, what would get more news coverage? Widespread famine and poverty, or like 0.2% of people being offended by petty shit? Do you not watch the news, Jerry? Not really, no. All that matters is people's emotions and feelings, okay? Fuck their feelings. You cannot say that. This is precisely what I'm talking about. So if 99% of people like what we're doing and only 1% are offended, you're saying we need to stop altogether. Exactly. Why? Because it's 2019, boys. This is how it works now. Oh, fuck a duck. Don't. That's offensive to ducks. I feel like this isn't working, boys. Just one last thing. Will you all at least tone it down a bit? Please. Nah. Oh. I actually reckon we should crank her up a notch, eh? But what about 1% of people's feelings, boys? Fuck em. Oh! Let's go. Rock and roll. Ricky, wait. You're my last hope. Please tell me you understand. I understand. Oh, thank goodness. Come on back, let's talk about our feelings. I understand that you have a dwarf face. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs>
hang on. I actually had a bloke yell out to me, don't take offence, once. Steve-o, thank you. Finally, someone willing to talk. Yeah. Okay. Why were you offended, mate? Oh, no, I wasn't. Then why did a man yell out to you to not take offence? Because I was stealing his fence. Oh, just go.